So this is a new MCP tool I'm trying out, MCP Chrome by Hangwin. It has over 5,000 stars, and I know a lot of people use Playwright for their MCP browser use, but um, I think these Chrome ones, there's a few of them, I've tried a lot of them, but this one looks like it has a lot of functionality. For instance, um, it keeps your original browser. This is the main reason why I use this over Playwright. Playwright spawns a headless browser, which is good in some cases, but when you have login states and other configuration on your own browser and you want the agent to use that, this becomes really handy so you don't have to keep doing authentication and stuff. There's other reasons why this is cool, like cross-tab context. This agent is actually able to use multiple tabs. Playwright, I think, typically just has one window. Um, it can spawn multiple windows, but there's no like true cross-window um, functionality. There's a built-in vector database. I haven't truly tested this yet. And 20 plus tools, including screenshots, network monitoring, this one's pretty big, interactive operations, bookmark management, browsing history, and 20 other tools. So a lot of functionality packed into this MCP server. You do have to install the Chrome extension and the NPM thing. So I got the Chrome extension here. It gives you the MCP server config. Now I did have to change this type from streamable HTTP just to HTTP. So here I've got uh, mcpconfig.json where I've just got this one HTTP server, the Chrome server here. And we can actually launch the augie CLI here with mcpconfig and then the path. So now it'll launch uh, augie, the augment code CLI tool with our MCP. So we can have the agent have access to everything that I can do in Chrome. Typically, the main use case is for web development. So if you're coding web projects, with which many of us are, instead of having like hard-coded tests, you can get the agent to test stuff on the fly as it's adding new features. It's super powerful, though that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do something fun. And we have a new task list in Augment Code. So we can go slash task and bring up the task manager. Press A to add a new task. Go to Reddit and find three posts on AI coding from 13th of August. And then let's add a new one. Go to x.com and find three posts on AI coding on 13th August. And then finally, write a report about the posts we saw on notepad.js.org. So notepad.js.org is a web app where you can just type anything like a notepad here, as you see on the right. And now we can just say, um, execute the task list using Chrome. And now it should use the new Chrome MCP we're testing out. You can see it's also using the new task list. It started the three tasks, go to Reddit, go to X, write a report, um, starting with the first task. Here we go, we're on Reddit. Amazing, I'm not touching anything. This is all the Augie agent uh, piloting the Chrome MCP. Okay, it's found three posts. It's trying to scroll. I've had, okay, so one issue I've had with every single MCP tool that uses Chrome is they cannot scroll down on Reddit or x.com I'm not sure what the issue is, but one great thing is these are all open source. So I can go into it, find the issue, hopefully submit a PR or run my own version that has the fix. Here we go. Now we're on x.com. Okay, here we go. Now it's got three posts on x that it's found. So it looks like it's updating the second task. Now we're in notepad and hopefully we will see it write the report that I wanted right here. There we go. There's our report. AI coding post report, August 13th, 2025. And we got the three Reddit posts and the three x.com posts. Amazing. And that, yeah, that was all done with the Chrome MCP and the Augie CLI. You also got to see the new task list task manager in Augie CLI, which was shipped today, actually, August 5th, August 13th, did I say 15th? August 13th. Yeah, hope you can join.